YouTube channel. So today's video, we are going to be recreating this Alexa Demi makeup look from Euphoria. I think I said that right. Um, I just my pronunciation is just not going well today. But we're gonna be recreating this po photo right here um, of this makeup look. I think that I can theoretically do it. I have everything for it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. I've been really on a like makeup kick lately. I've been like obsessed with like doing my makeup. So, we're gonna do it, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, I've got everything out to do my makeup. I'm also going to use my handy dandy clips and I can't, mm, hate it when I, see, okay. I started taking out all of my makeup and putting it on my desk when I do my makeup for my video because the way that my camera's set up, every single time I like push any, like if I touch my desk and push anything, it will, shake and it's so annoying because then the camera shakes and it's just like what the heck bro and it just makes the video suck i'm really not happy about it but i'm just gonna go ahead and put on some foundation a lot of the beginning steps are gonna be like the same um that i normally do because i don't know but then the makeup is gonna be interesting and then i got some lip stuff that i hope will like kind of make lips look similar but i don't really know because her lips are a little bit more fuller than mine Anyway, I'm going to actually put on primer this time. I know that's crazy. Like, if you've seen any of my other makeup videos, I don't ever put on primer. It's really sad. But I got this new one. If you saw my last makeup, semi-makeup video, I was doing my makeup for a birthday recap video. But I got this primer, and I'm going to use it. It's the professional one. I didn't expect the primer to look like that. Like, it looks like skin color, I guess. Which, honestly, I think might be kind of, like, useful. I didn't expect it to look like that. That's crazy. Because most primers are, like, clear or, like, a pink neutral color. I guess this rubs in. You don't really, like, it's not, it could sub, I mean, it doesn't really substitute for, like, a foundation or anything like that. But I do like that it is that color. I think it's kind of cool. But I'm just going to do my foundation. It's the same one I've always been using. It's the Revlon Photo Ready Candid one. I don't really know. I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to be using the Creaseless Concealer. I'm going to do that all real quick. And then I'll show you guys what I'm going to do next. But we're going to speed through because I'm boring. I've done that. It's I'm just kind of put that over here. Um, and that. Okay. What else do we want to do? Um, so blush and bronzer. I just kind of do it. One of my own things. Blush. I'm gonna try to make it as like subtle as it is in the photo, but still kind of show up. I don't really know. We're gonna see how it goes. So I'm gonna be using just the um Balm Springs one. That I don't really know. I got this years ago it's probably expired i probably should throw it away but then i'm just gonna use the wet wild bronzer just to kind of do that get those ready and then we can move on and get the lid started and that's like the main event so there's that my acne has been really bad lately so please just don't mind that just don't mind it just pretend it's not there it's not happening because that's what i've been doing so let's just go ahead and do that real quick <music> I'm done i feel like that i got the um blush spot freaking on so proud of myself um now i've got like this little board thing so we're gonna use this to kind of shape the wing because i have like this little sticky thing that helps you shape the wing but the wing on that is like itty bitty so and this wing's just a lot bigger i shaked it i'm sorry okay but we're just going to use the Be Beautiful Professional Makeup that I got from, like, Urban. But it's got a lot of pink choices. So this is, like, my dupe to, like, any big palette. But it's got a lot of pink choices for me to work with. Which I'm really hoping that this, like, turns out okay. Um, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous, guys. I'm so scared. So from what I can tell, I'm going to put the picture right here as I'm looking at it. But I've got like it's like a darker for the wing and like that bottom section's darker and then up here it's a little bit lighter 
it does look like she has eyeliner on however i suck at eyeliner and i'm not even gonna risk it i'm sorry but i'm really not gonna risk it i could maybe try to put on a little bit of eyeliner like right on the where she had it because that's a little bit more reasonable but i don't know i might just pack on some mascara and call it a day but i'm a little nervous here so we're gonna just try my best all right I have an idea. We're gonna try something. I'm gonna grab the sticky thing and see if I can maybe mold it to the shape I want. So my mom gave these to me. It's an eye candy like eyeliner stencil thingy. I don't know. It it like just I just think the liner on like this like the way that it looks on it is just kind of not cute. But I think I could maybe mold it to look the way I want. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It just needs to be longer. So maybe if I don't put it so close, it would work. I think I think we can make this work actually. I'm a little nervous. I, I'm really bad at makeup, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, I think that's as good as it's getting. We'll do some fixing upping when I get it kind of going. Um if I have to, we'll see what we'll see, we'll see what happens. Okay, so let's go for like the darker color that is kind of gonna go, you know, across. Okay, we're gonna see how this goes. I'm nervous. <laughs> Um, I just need to do the under eye because she has like underneath. So I'm going to do a little bit of that. Um, we're going to maybe try to use a different brush. Just kidding because this is the only one that has pink on it. The rest of it has like other colors. So I don't know how well this turned out. Could be a lot better. But it's as good as it's getting so I don't really care. <music> that look I feel like it's as good as it's getting and I think the jewels will make it better right right okay so now I'm gonna do my brows and then we'll do my lashes and then we'll put my jewels on um and I must put that on my lashes I don't know I'm like feeling like this is a very sketchy idea also she has like brows like that are so different from mine and hers are a little bit more like not so full i guess and she when she keeps them natural and not like filled in it kind of adds to like the look and mine are like always full i don't know i don't know how to do that I'm nervous i just feel like this the eyeshadow doesn't look as good as it really could be and like the wing looks terrible but to be felt to be fair i came into this expecting that it was going to turn out kind of bad so it's fine whatever i don't really care i'm gonna put on some lash primer and then this primer is from tarte tarte primer i don't know i don't really know much about lash primers i got it if you saw my birthday update this is what we're doing and then i'm using the milk makeup mascara i just feel like it makes my lashes like big and i like it so we're gonna do this and we're gonna probably put a little bit on my bottom lashes because I'm pretty sure she has some on hers too. Okay, so I finished my lashes. I feel like they're looking good. Now I'm just gonna put on the jewels, which is going to be slightly difficult. We'll see how it goes though. So I've got like these little jewels that I got from like, they're li you can literally get them from Michaels. They're really easy to find. Um, I have, I don't know. But we're going to look at the picture. We're going to put it up on the screen. Um, so she's got like one here. Then like two, three along the bottom. And then she's got three under her eye. So we're going to do the brow ones first. Because those will be a lot easier to do. So she's got one like right on her arc. Of her brow. Queen. So I'm just going to do the same thing for her other brow because I can't really see it. So I'm assuming they're the same. One of my brows doesn't really even have an arc, like a point. 
on it. So I'm just going to guess on where that would be. Because my brows are really bad. I need to go get them shaped. She's got one on her tail. Kind of. Mine is not in the right spot. Whatever. I look so bad. Okay. So she's got one like on the front part of her brow. So we're putting one there. And then we're going to put another one just slightly over. Oh gosh. I One fell off. That sucks. Remove this one really quick while that other one isn't there and in the way. What sucks is that like people doing this like for the movie or the shows or whatever, um, they probably have a tool to like put these on. I, however, am using my finger, so I'm like this is really stressful. Okay, I gotta finish the second brow, and then we'll do the under bottom part and then we'll do my lips and probably touch up on the blush a little bit because I feel like I knocked a lot of it off one more for my brow and then I'm done and then I gotta put them underneath my eyeball which will probably be interesting oh the look is coming together so proud of myself I did so good clean the jewels aren't as close to my eyes as I probably would want. But to be fair, I'm doing pretty good for what we're working with right now. Bro, I'm so close to the last one. Okay. We did it. Okay. I'm going to touch up the blush really quick without wiping off any beads. And then we're going to add to the lips. So for the lips, um, she's just got like very full lips. Um... But I just kind of think that, not really sure what she's got going on with her lips, to be honest with you. But I'm going to just add, like, a little touch of, like, a darker, and, like, probably going to use a little bit of both of these from this little thing. It's the Kaja. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but we're just going to add, like, a little bit to the inside and a little bit of the dark one around. And then we're going to add some lip gloss that I got from Sephora and just pray that I can make this work. Okay, I'm gonna go wipe off my hands with a makeup wipe real quick and to get the pins, come back, we're gonna reevaluate. So, that's it for this video, you guys. I'm obsessed, kind of obsessed. I love it. Like, that's a lot of jewels going on in my face, but I'm kind of like obsessed. So, <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. If you guys want me to like recreate more famous people's like makeup looks, Comment them down below, or if they're like from a TV show, just comment them down below. I will definitely do it because I've become way more obsessed with makeup lately. It's insane. Um, but yeah, definitely give it a thumbs up. I loved filming this, and I love you guys. I'm feeling very vibey today. Anyway, um, please check out my Instagram. I do a lot of polls about my YouTube channel on there. Check out my TikToks. I have a TikTok regular that I post all TikToks on. I have a TikTok that is dedicated to behind the scenes footage. I try to post on there as much as I can, but I've been really busy, so it's really hard to. But I'm gonna try to post on there more. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I've got a lot, like a ton of fun things planned. It's absolutely insane. Then subscribe to my vlog channel. I'm gonna be vlogging coming up in a couple days for Thanksgiving and then next month for Christmas. And it's just gonna be so fun. We're gonna do some fun things, I really hope. Um, quarantine has been very, very stressful and crazy, but I'm trying to make the most of it and doing some fun stuff here at home for my YouTube channel. So please back me up and subscribe. So yeah. Um, last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or whenever you're watching this, 